Mwoja, lakini nadhani kama si hey. ile niko gate niko maji niko kero ro mapema lakini eh hey, sasa hii mapema mapema <laughs> <laughs> karibu sana na no, gate true lakini nimeomba nikuulize bado naishi kalif kalifa una eh hey. hey. uko ndio lizaliwa mm-hmm. lakini tuliondoka kidogo because people have to move on lakini mm-hmm. marafiki zangu bado wako huko mm-hmm. eh hey. home pale tu malizaliwa bado ipo mm-hmm. hey. na mkaribu sana katika studio zetu santi hambo ni miaka mingi ah sana tutaja kuona kwa muda ah. mrefu <laughs> Wengi wanauliza no nini alienda wapi? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No nini huko lakini niligeuza maziri, ma, ma, mazingira. mazingira. Eh, mm-hmm. Nikaingia US. Mm-hmm. So umeishi Maryland but hii uh, ni mara yangu ya kwanza kurudi Kenya after three years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maryland huko unakaa unafanya mambo ya mziki ama umeachana na mambo ya mziki? Family iko huko, mtoto wangu yuko huko. Eh, so my dad I'm a very intentional dad kwake eh, na mziki bado nafanya. Mm-hmm. Um, na nafanya biashara mm-hmm. and uh, niko ni, ni, na hii apparel line yangu ito mgenge true. Nimeona yeah. na hii tutakujia tuzungumzie. Yeah. Ukisema kwamba bado unafanya mziki inamaanisha kwamba wa Kenya tusubirie kolabo na watu wa Mayu. Nina surprise naona umevaa red leo. Uh-huh. Una kafiti. Oh. Red na symbolize nini? Nini haja? Mapenzi Valentine. Valentine. Uh-huh. Have a surprise. Uh-huh. 14th February. Kuna uh-huh. kitu kipya naangusha exclusive utakuwa nayo hapa. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, unaangusha from Mayu ama Bakay. Nishafanya hapa nilikaa okay. Kenya hiyo ndio project nilileta hapa nifanye mm-hmm. then nikienda and release. Okay. So I have two projects loading. Moja inatoka hiyo 13th February so that watu wayamkie mm-hmm. na mapenzi. Okay. Yeah. Mbali na familia, je kuna kitu gani ambacho kilikupatia wewe msukumo ukasema kwamba kwa mimi kama no nini nataka ku relocate maana no nini ni jina kubwa huko yeah. chini. Ah Lulu ili relocate sababu ya one eh, kijana wangu anaishi anaishi kule so nilikuwa nataka at least kama baba ni kwa karibu naye mm-hmm. sababu uh, he's he's right, he's right now is 11 years mm-hmm. so ilikuwa muhimu presence yangu iwe kwake lakini sasa kitu nilifanya nikatoka kabisa lockdown ya covid lulu mm-hmm. tulifungiwa hapa kama creatives yani hakuna hakuna stimulus tulipatiwa alikuwa tutengezi pesa na si unajua uh, nightlife ndio ufanya tutatengeza hela because kupaform mambo mingi mm-hmm. ilikuwa time hard sana so mm-hmm. i thought about it nikapanda tu ndege Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Ukisema ilikuwa time hard hiyo ni wakati wa COVID yes. na kwa hivi sasa bado wana muziki nchini Kenya wanapiga makelele wanalia. Ah, Maana niliona kwamba wanatarajia kupata some royalties this Norm. month. Norm. Lakini ukipiga hisabu wengi ah. wanasema labda mwanamuziki mmoja anaenda na kama 1250. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hiyo shida lulu imekuwa na mimi nimekuwa nikipigana na hiyo hiyo shida sana for the last 20 years. Ni cartels zinaendelea kwa hizi eh, CMOs mm-hmm. na ni wanajua wanajulikana serikali hizo geuza every times eh, serikali kibadilika tunaenda tunaambia mpaka president tunaongelesha the minister wale ko involved na mambo ya muziki nothing changes because wale watu wanaenda wanaongea na president wanamsuka ama wanaongea na ule minister and then vitu zinakuwa tu kawaida this problem has been ongoing hakuna kitu kinageuka 1250 lulu mm-hmm. itasaidia nani si ati nadharau si ati si pesa mm-hmm. lakini msanii overheads mtu wa size sini watu, wa, watu wazima mm. tuna mafamilia mm. man it's so sad yeah. Mi, ilifanya nikaondoka kwenye chama mm-hmm. siku hizi niko chama ya America inaitwa ASCAP mm-hmm. yeah. na una, unafanya nini wewe kama no nini kuhakikisha kwamba baadhi wana muziki huko nchini Kenya pia yeah. wao wanapanuka kiakili wana yeah wana fikra tofauti. Yeah. Na zungu, muzungumza sana mambo ya copyright. Mm-hmm. Mambo ya copyright ya mziki, mambo ya royalties I'm very very vocal about it kwenye social media. Sababu number one, lazima watu wakuwe na awareness, waelewe. Wengi wasanii sana sana chipkizi hawaelewi kwa nini royalties, hawaelewi copyright. So me I'm very vocal about it. But vile nilikuwa naishi huko Kenya, mm-hmm. um, tumejaribu hata ku change law ya music uh, inaitwa music bill. Mm-hmm. Tukua tunataka serikali ifungue hizi chama zisikwe tatu. Kuna chama tatu. Kuna MC SK, kuna prisk na camp mm-hmm. tunafosiwa kama wasanii ku belong kwa hizo chama ndugu zetu hapa Tanzania wako na chama kama hizo lakini eh, anaitwaje mwana FA mbunge mm-hmm. waliingia bunge wakageuza hiyo sheria ikakuwa eh, private entities wanaweza ingia wasaidie kukusanya pesa ya wasanii mm-hmm. as Kenya venye iko hatuwezi kupata mtu mwingine atusaidie ni hawa watatu mm-hmm. kama watatu wanaleta shida tukwa tunaomba tu serikali ifungue Kenya Copyright Board pa kuna mtu mwingine anaweza kuja alete competition afanye service delivery mm-hmm. kama na tukolektia pesa vizuri na tulipa vizuri msanii achague mali anataka kwenda mm-hmm. sasa hivi tunafosiwa kuwa na watu watatu na watu watatu wamekuwa shida sana mm-hmm. na najua unaona kukiwa na mwanga wote kwa wasanii nchini Kenya yeah wasanii wale wanajituma manze unajua it's all about kujituma na ku, when if you have an idea mm-hmm. usingojee usingojee yani if 
kama hii idea hii idea it was born from nothing lulu mm-hmm. lazima ujitume sasa hakuna mtu atakuja kusaidia mm-hmm. if you have an idea make sure you push push your brand kama ni msani mdogo push brand yako mm-hmm. sababu hata baadaye kama mziki itakuja kuisha mziki unajua hit mm-hmm. alafu mziki inaenda chini mm-hmm. but if you build a brand your brand lives forever yeah. na mimi saizi mimi naishi na brand yangu mm-hmm. mziki nilitengeneza nilimba mm-hmm. si need kuimba sana sababu brand ipo mm-hmm. naimba sasa na kwa furaha yangu kwa raha zangu na ni ukweli eh. brand ni kubwa mno maana yake no nini mgenge tu ni kitambo yes, si mgenge sana yeah, mgenge tu lakini ubugenge uliisha kitambo ah mgenge mgenge ndio mgenge mbaya eh. ah zina kuongeleshaje eh. hiyo ndio ugenge okay, si ni wale watu wa California bwana tulizaliwa mimi nikiingia huko anza na mbwa naenda kula pilau pale mpambe hiyo ndio ugenge mm-hmm. kukuwa tu mreal kukuwa mm-hmm. true mm-hmm. yeah. na mna unafanya kazi nzuri sio kila mtu ambaye uh, anafikiria wanasema out of the box yeah. wengine wanasema throw away the box yeah, throw so, tupa eh kabisa umetupa <laughs> naona umetupa box yeah. ukasema kwamba mbali na kuimba yeah lazima kuna mambo wewe kama msanii uweze kujifanyia. Yeah. Meona kuanzia ngepa, ngepa, mpaka chini, luku, uh-huh. mpaka sliders, mpaka uh-huh. viatu. Uh-huh. Basically ni building African brands. Kitu gani labda ilikufanya iliku ukasema I think muda mwafaka sasa kwa mimi kutengeneza brand yangu. Sababu mziki, mziki kuna kuna different uh, revenues unaweza tengeneza na, na mziki. Kama utangojea royalties kama ile 1250 inaweza uh-huh. kuwa shida. Uh-huh. Lakini ukishatengeneza brand yako you have to know other ways you can make money kama ku perform sawa, uh-huh. ukishatengeneza brand misa nimeingia apparel na tengeneza uh, hizi nguo zangu hizi nguo the african napenda mkuona mkuona na, na mzee pale mnapiga ile luku yenu eh that's an african brand <laughs> unaelewa <laughs> even ndo tunafanya because i'm wearing african brands me naweza nunua Gucci naweza nunua Versace naweza nunua bal, bal, Balenciaga stacki mimi napiga mgenge true alafu watu wangu pia wana, wana nunua hiyo hiyo it's african brand hizi nguo zangu zote zinatengenezwa hapa Kenya Mm-hmm. Kitu sitengezi Kenya peke yake ni kofia na viatu. Mm-hmm. Lakini vijana hapa wako kazi, kuna matela, wanafanya hiyo job. Mm-hmm. Kila kitu tunafanya made in Kenya because textile um, our fabric ya mm-hmm. Kenya is very superior. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's building our own brands na kukuwa ma entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. Nimetengeza hii brand from nothing. Mm-hmm. Eh, yaani ilikuwa haina ni fikira, fikira tu ilikuja mm-hmm. na nikasema ah na I can do it. Eh hey, fit sana, nashukuru. Mm-hmm. Unaona unapiga ngepa? Eh, eh kanga pa. Sasa <laughs> siwache nikuonyeshe hii unajua hii hii labda ujui ni nini acha nikushoe. Eh eh. Wow. Chukua moja hapo ya white. Um, chukua moja ya black. Yaani ya black sawa. Ndio hiyo alitaingia. Mzee amesema red. Itaingia na hapo mpaya sana. Eh eh. Alafu ni black na gold. Uh-huh. Da. Ndio hiyo. Piga luku. Eh. Hey. Kidogo. Eh hey, hey. eh. Sasa si ndio hiyo tata. Ah, hii hii ni asante. Eh hey, ni asante. Mapili. Ah safi. <laughs> eh. But uh, quality ni nzuri sana. Yeah. Kwa hivyo unamaanisha kwamba ume, umeunda kiwanda chako na kiwanda ambapo umeajiri vijana. Yeah. Wakisha kwamba wanafanya hii biashara yako. Eh yeah, kuna matela, waga na nishone yangu kila kitu. Mm-hmm. Um na nawalipa. Uh, so wako job. Uh, mm-hmm. They own retainers and every time I get an order, hao jamaa wanalipwa na wanatengeneza pesa hapa mm-hmm. Kenya. Kama hizo kofia hizo natengezea kule because of the quality. Mm-hmm, yeah. by the way mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. na na uh, umekaa ukafikiria ukasema shoot hii miaka yote nime waste time sana hiki kitu siningeanza kitambo je yeah, kitu ushe <sighs> kujia kitu kama hicho yeah unajua sasa zingine mtu kaa una reflect unasema yani brand ningeanza kuibuild kitambo sana unajua sasa si tulianza kujua hii mambo on the go mm-hmm. venye tulianza kuimba kalif mm-hmm. atujui mambo ya biashara mm-hmm. so tulikuwa tunajifunza as we go mm-hmm. so baadaye ile knowledge unapata unasema i wish i knew this 20 years ago lakini hakuna ku regret mm-hmm anzia mali huko mm-hmm. kama leo yani kitu itaspark kwa akili yako kama msanii anzia hapo no regret mungu kuchukulia mali huko na nakupeleka you can Don't... be a billionaire at 70 years true yeah. na unaona kwamba inakulipa wewe kama msanii Yes, Ama yes. jina lako pia linasaidia sana kupushi brand. Man, jina langu ndio kila kitu yani. Yaani mgenge true ndio brand. Alafu brand pia saa zingine mwambie watu sio sio logo. Unaona hii logo? That's not the brand. Brand ni venye unafanya watu wa feel. How do you make people feel? Mtu akivaa hii kitu kama ukivaa hiyo lulu utasikia ah, na represent mgenge true hiyo mm-hmm. feeling. Our own. That's the brand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> na uh, uh, tukiacha na masala haya, tutakuja yeah. tutuambie ni pesa ngapi labda ina cost venye umevaa. Yeah. Uh, upande wa masala ya mziki je unahisi kwamba uh, mziki wa Kenya tume stagnant yeah. ama tume grow kama taifa yeah. ama tumerudi chini kabisa <laughs> mziki wa Kenya ni iko poa 
and tunaweza sema there's a new generation right wanaje express our toto mimi waga nasema tu tu support tu support sana the problem that we have uh, in, in the Kenyan music industry that atusikiki sana ta nje Tanzania labda kidogo tunaona ni kama ama wa Nigeria si mziki yenyewe mziki iko sawa watu wanaimba vizuri na afu kwa, kwa, kwa watu kuimba kuna wale wasanii wabaya kuna wale wasanii wazuri in every industry wapo lakini chukua ile nzuri kama kina sauti sol watu wengi hapa kina calligraph jones wanafanya kazi sana there's good music shida ni culture yetu lulu hatupendi vitu zetu hatupendi mziki zetu hatupendi nguo zetu hatupendi vyakula vyetu why am i saying this mimi na shikule kule unapata waindi wanaendaga ku support restaurants zao wa nigeria wanaingia kwa restaurants zao kukula chakula yao they are proud wanavaa nguo zao mavazi zao they are proud wanapenda mziki zao wakikaa chini kwenye bash popote hawasikizi kitu kingine isipokuwa mziki yao sisi tunapenda kujiba si upenda kujinini kujiingilia sana instead of it's our culture if we change our culture na tusemeani we will be proud of anything Kenyan mm. kani nguo kani mavazi kani mziki that's so, where no nini sijui lakini ukisema culture nitakukosoa kidogo <laughs> mimi nikiangalia wanamziki wa John Medill sana na Sana yes mimi ukiniuliza shida iko wapi yeah. nitakwambia identity hebu niambi identity mm. ya mziki ehe <laughs> unajua wakati wenyu tulikuwa tunajua kuna genge yeah sasa hivi uwezi jua huyu mtu anaimba Kenya tunajulikana kwa wimbo wa aina gani? Yes. Tanzania wanajulikana kama bongo. Sasa hivi wamekiingia kidogo mapiano. Yeah. Yeah. Nchi zingine wanajulikana kwa style tofauti. Yes. Lakini sisi ni gideri, tumemix because we are Tumana diverse. Tumana tunaelea uh, identity ya kusema hii ni yetu. Unfortunately si si ni wadua very diverse mm. na tunapenda mziki mingi na tumekuwa influenced by different cultures tulijaribu kufanya hiyo genge ikuwe jina ya mziki ya Kenya. Mm-hmm. But of course because Which ya mavita. Like? Eh but tulipigwa vita. Mm-hmm. Sasa hizi as we speak lulu genge iko kwenye Grammys. Mm-hmm. Grammy eh, best African category genge iko kwa hiyo category. Kama wata kuingia Grammy you either have to belong eh, to genge bongo ama piano. Mm-hmm. But leo jina ni kwa hapo people don't support watu wanasema ah kenge ni ile kitu ilianzishwa na kina nonini na jua kali haikuwa yeah. tini yetu e, ilikuwa yeah. ilikuwa ya industry mzima but people fought it unfortunately you're very right mm-hmm. atuna identity mm-hmm. yes at least ungekuwa na identity ungejua kwamba si tuna support ndio pale unasema hata restaurant uwezi yeah. jua kenya watu wanakula nini yeah. tumechanganya kila kitu yani sasa hiyo culture we need to, to sell and be proud of our own of, of ourselves unaona kitu tumevaa kwenye mkono mm-hmm. hii wa kenya wanavaa sana sana but na ukiona mtu kwa airport unajua ah u- ule Kenya yeah. we have to be yani wa Nigeria ukiona wakijivunia mm-hmm. nguo zao watu wao they do not care about anyone else wanapenda mambo so and that's it we need that if we do that as Kenyans mziki yetu itaenda juu mpaka ta movie movie mm-hmm. zetu industry so acha nikwambie my favorite movie right now mu watch hata nikiwa kule beki uh-huh. napenda beki sana <laughs> beki kali uh, it's a kenyan production uh, uh, wana act fit kuna sheng pale ndani mm-hmm. you know such things we need Filam, to support filamu uh, uh, for a fact filamu imeendelea sana imepita mziki e sana ina ina inakuja Kabisa, inakuja but pia wanapata tu the same matatizo mm-hmm. kama ya mziki mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the support yeah. watu pia kuona ni kama film za Kenya ziko inferior hapana ba, but size imekuja let's be independent international ziko netflix mm-hmm. let's support them even ndio yani hiyo culture kujivunia mm-hmm. mimi nikiwatch back na sikia garadi ni production ya Kenya ni kali asante yeah, sana <laughs> so wewe unafanya nini kuhakikisha kwamba mziki haufi um nchini Kenya hata kama uko ngambo yeah Mshokusha uh, wewe bado ni mkenye. Yeah, mimi mufanya party yangu. Acha nikwambie kule ngambo mm-hmm. uh, nikienda kwenye maklub. Uh, once in a while I invite you kwenye club. I make sure it's Kenyan music being played. Na make sure kwanza ni mziki za watoto wadogo, chezeni hizi mziki. Nikienda kwenye mabash. Tukienda kwenye bash mingi za wa Kenya wa Kenya ukutana si kama huku mm-hmm. kule wa Kenya ukutana kwa manyumba mm-hmm. so mtu anaweza ku invite rafiki zake on a friday mm-hmm. eh, house party ukipata za watu wengine au cheza mziki zao mm-hmm. sisi wa Kenya tunataka kucheza mziki zao mm-hmm. sasa kama wale wachezi mziki zetu mbona sisi tuwacheza zao mimi nikiwa kwenye hizo bash hapa na toeni hizo mziki weke ni mziki ya Kenya please kama si ya Kenya mimi naondoka mm-hmm. and also pia bado i'm still recording my music kama vile nimekuambia i'm about to drop two uh, two songs mm-hmm. um, sasa nimefika mahali ya kile yangu imetulia Mm-hmm. So now I can I can do music uh, as a passion I can do music because uh, I'm happy. Mm-hmm. Hakuna ile pressure ati lazima nitoe muziki ni perform hapana. Mm-hmm. Biashara imeshikilia siku hizi niko sawa so now I release music. Pia hiyo kutoa muziki ni kama nitaonyesha pia watu wengine how you're supposed to do it. Okay. Yeah. Aye, mbali na hiyo wanamuziki waliosalia nchini Kenya. Yeah. Ni yupi ambaye mnao nini ukimuona unasema kwamba huyu ana future nzuri? Ah, sasa hizi naweza sema nani? Hawachipukizie wanaokuja kwa hivi sasa. 
Um, kuna 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 msichana ni mimi napenda madada sana kwanza nikiona wakijituma kuna wawili kuna moja aitwa Shanti Bobo mm-hmm. Shanti Bobo mfiti sana nikadem kana piga mistari hapa kuna mwingine aitwa Sylvia Saru mm-hmm. nampenda Saru sana i like her attitude napenda vile anajibeba um, pande wanaume nani kuna kuna kijana nilimba naye Keroro remix nilimwe kwenye remix aitwa Mtemi mm-hmm. uh, toka Voi mm-hmm. ni kijana anajituma sana yani i can see a bright future na mimi nawasaidia that's why i do collabs with them na nawapatia advice in case of how they move how should they should move in the industry mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. na uh, labda una jambo lolote kuambia wale mafans wako yeah. wako huko nje <laughs> wale sasa hivi mmoja ameona ah ndio nini nimeona na nini kwa tv yeah. ngapi na kuambia nini man mimi niko too humble niko humble sana that uh, uh, wana ni support mpaka wale I've been in this industry for what 24 years now it's 2024 mm-hmm. lianza 2000 mm-hmm. so yani tu support na love na unionyesha hiyo love kwa kununua machenda zangu wananunua sana na nikipika show wanatoka kama East Saturday niko show yangu ya mwisho mm-hmm. so kitaweza waambia kama uko Nairobi mm-hmm. I'll be in Black Samurai Lounge Saturday mm-hmm. my last show inaitwa kwa Harry Night oh, tufurahie okay. yani tu eh, kwa sababu kurudi hapa labda naweza rudi maybe after one year or two years mm-hmm. Black Samurai Lounge iko wapi iko hapa tu eh, Hallingham Uh-huh. Yes. Kwa hivyo watu wajitokeze kwa wingi. Yes, yeah, this is my last show Waga. in Kenya. Yeah. Na uh, 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 tumesema kwa heri nikakumbuka kina Sanaipe kwa na je mmefikiria kwamba wakati mmoja nyinyi kama wale ambao mliweza kuvuma wakati huo yeah. muuje na show tuseme nah. babu kubwa ya nah. wa Kenya wanatusumbua daily hata venye nikikuja wanaandika wanasumbua. wanaandika vipi simpige show pamoja nyinyi wote jo mm-hmm. kali nameless red sun. Mm-hmm. But uh, throwback tuna, tunataka ule kaka kuna anaitwa ni kaka investor mm-hmm. anaangalia show mm-hmm. ajitokeze because wajua ile show expensive sababu watu wote lazima walipe mm-hmm. eh, sasa unfortunately promoters wengi hawezi tuweka sote kwa ukumbi moja unless kuna sponsorship yeah. hata afford eh, sababu hizo ni brand kubwa mm-hmm. but kama kuna mtu anaoacha anaweza kutaka kuifanya mm-hmm. see we are down watu wa Kenya wanataka hiyo show sana mm-hmm. tulipiga moja i think five years ago ilikuwa ilikuwa ngoma festival mm-hmm. ilikuwa kubwa so they want that wana nostalgia wanataka ile muziki yetu ya kitambo mm-hmm. kama kuna mtu anaweza wekelea ajitaka citizen eh, citizen mna semaje mtu wangu eh. <laughs> umemaliza kisha hiyo tumemaliza safi nadhani boss amesikia ah top amesikia tumeongea masala ya events kwa muda mrefu yeah. lakini hili limefika najua na watch na amesikiza asante sasa kwa mtazamaji anayekukuteza maneno nini yeah. kwa yule mtu anasema ah no nini amekladi vitu labda expensive yeah. mimi nataka kuvaa vile lakini kweli mimi nita nitafika bei yeah. sasa tumbi labda hiki pesa ngapi pesa ngapi ndio kila mtu kuweze ah. kuona kama tunaweza fika bei tu So, <laughs> na, na kwa gala vitu za bei tofauti mm-hmm. niko na watu wangu wale wa mtaani na niko na vitu high end mm-hmm. so pande ya nguo t-shirts eh, mahudis ma jackets hizo zinaenda 3500 4500 niko na ma full suit ma truck hizo mm-hmm. truck ni kama 5000 juu chini kofia kofia ni cheap kofia nauza 3000 mm-hmm. eh, mbaga kama hii hii ni hii ni cup holder ya, ya kubebezi kofia kama una travel ama pia simu una nini na nini ini 10000 mm-hmm. eh, mm-hmm. Eh yeah, ni hard kabisa. Yeah, sliders, hizi sliders niko na mbili. Niko na hizi high end na niko na zingine tu za kawaida. Toa tu tu. Oh, ni toe. Oh. Naona. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, so hizi hizi ni high end na niko na zingine tu kawaida. Sasa kawaida tunauza 3000 mm-hmm. lakini high end ni ni, ni, ni 10000. Mm-hmm. Na niko na page yangu kwenye Instagram. That's my Instagram shop. Nafanya digital marketing, nafanya digital sales. Mm-hmm. Mia kuna duka mali utaenda, unaingia online unapiga order, it's delivered to you in mm-hmm. 24 hours. Oh, okay. Yeah. Aye. So umesema tunaweza kupata kwa mitandao Instagram Mm-hmm. Noni ni mgenge true mm-hmm. Twitter noni ni mgenge true kila mali noni ni mgenge true tu. yes una DM tu pale kuna watu wa sales whatever unataka una order they customize to your size mm-hmm. cuz the reason stuck ku stock mm-hmm. kila mtu ana size tofauti so mtu akuja anasema size yake tailor anapatiwa hiyo order anatengeneza it's delivered to you okay yeah. kabla tumalize kuna swali moja linaniwasha nataka kukuuliza <laughs> lakini it's too personal unasema <laughs> <laughs> hey, una mtoto ana miaka 11 yeah, years JJ hey, yeah. mkeo mkenya ama mzungu ah uh, mkenya oh basi. mkenya Watu wa fikiria. Ni sema basi we ni mzalendo. Usije kwa ulienda huko ukatusahau. Ah never. Ai, neno la mwisho kwa mtazamaji kabla utubuize kiasi. 
mimi tunaweza sema tu yani let's 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 continue building our, our own brands um, najua it's say kuna it's a hard time in, in Kenya mm-hmm. haina shida kama unaweza yani tafadhali if you have any idea just try as much as possible to become an entrepreneur mm-hmm. say kazi ni, ni ngumu kupata na pia usingoje kuandikwa kazi sometimes you might have a small idea pale mtaani just look angalia watu venye wanafanya look at people who build their own brands try pia we mwenyewe kwanza tu pole pole sio ilianza hizi nguo millions kikomba mm-hmm. nilikuwa naenda kikosh nachukua tisha tu zile plain na print hapo ndio nilianzia pole pole tu ika build so look at watu tu ajitume and mind to what we think of becoming entrepreneurs rather than becoming employed mm-hmm. that's how we gonna free africa that's how we gonna free kenya mm-hmm. kabisa Ah uh, sana la kuongelea. <laughs> Karibu sana na nini na kila laheri na safari njema. Babu. Lakini Saturday tutakuja. Saturday. Ah yeah, Black Samurai. Lakini natakuwa nimevaa. Eh hey, mgenge true luku. Ndio. 